Joining us now are members of the Carlton State Texans. In the center of our podium is head coach Ronnie Hearn. He is flanked by Brianna Bledsoe. Brianna is a junior guard from Stephenville, as well as Kiara Wright. Kiara is a junior post from Pittsburgh. First off, coach, uh, your impressions, a game where normally you score 83, you think you've got a chance to win. That's right. You think you'd win every game if you scored 83. and. Uh, I don't remember the scores of the first two games we played them, but it seemed like it was, of course, one went in overtime, but it seemed like it was in the 60s, 70s, somewhere in there. Uh, but they definitely have a very talented team. They're athletic, they're skilled, they're well coached, uh, and they're very deep. You know, I, I looked at one stat, and our, our bench had 11 points, and their bench had 36 points. And that's why they're able to do what they do, you know, continu continuously run the floor, keep their players fresh, uh, full court pressure, you know, for 40 minutes. And, and, you know, it kind of reminded me a little bit, a little bit of the team we, we've had, you know, until this year, uh, as far as that depth and that quickness and that full court pressure. And, you know, that really wears another team down. I mean, it really does. And, uh, you know, I thought we were in good shape at halftime. Uh, I thought we were in good shape to start the second half. And, uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, I called every time out I had but one. I thought, well, I might need to save that one. We might actually cut it down, you know, get it below 10. And, uh, you know, just got to give them credit. They're a really, really good team. You talk about the depth. Uh, it's a rarity when the coach can pull a kid into the game Yeah, you don't see that very often at all. And uh, Kiara, we were talking yesterday, best of times. You had 30 points, and I believe 15 or so rebounds, might have been 20. Uh, still, solid day for you. Too. I mean, 30 points, 11 rebounds, not enough as a team. But uh, your thoughts on the game? I just, I thought we, I thought we were ready to play, but I guess we just couldn't pull it off. We, we played hard, but it just wasn't enough. Um, I just think overall defense. I mean, we had a game plan to go out there and guard them, and I guess I mean it shows we didn't really do that. So. Questions for the Texans. Kira, how tough was it with the foul trouble inside today? It's really tough. It's always tough, and with me, um, I foul all the time, and when I'm not in the game, it's kind of hard for us to kind of score. But I mean. I obviously got in foul trouble and I sat out like six minutes and I guess it kind of killed us. So. Coach, can I talk about how Pierre has performed with the pressure of having lost Carly and Shanae and all the extra attention given her and her numbers just continue to go up? I think early on, uh, you know, she really kind of felt the burden of that and maybe didn't really want it. But I think the more games we played, you know, I don't think she mind, minded carrying the load, and she did a tremendous job of it. And, uh, you know, we were playing a lot of freshmen tonight. Uh, I think we played four uh, quite a bit. Did we play five or four? We played four or five. It seemed like we played all five freshmen quite a bit. And, uh, you know, they got a lot of growing up to do, but I see a lot of potential there, you know, because uh, – you know, next year we're going to have Shanae and Carly back, and hopefully these freshmen will be a whole lot better. And we'll be a lot deeper next year. We'll be a better defensive team. We'll be able to pressure people and run the floor better with fresh players. And uh, so, uh, you know, the foul trouble, uh, you know, Cheyenne got in foul trouble, and then Aaron got in foul troubles. And then Kiara did. So, you know, three post players were in foul trouble the majority of the game. And uh, Kiara, Kiara did good. Did you get two or one the first half? Two. Two, yeah. So, you know, when you got three, basically three players at those two positions and, and they're all in foul trouble the first half, that's tough.
you know, regardless of what happens with the uh, regional selections and things of that nature, you know, you'll have this entire team coming back. What does mm -hmm. that mean to you going into next year? Oh, I mean, that's awesome. Like, we know we're used to playing together. We have all this year to learn. And, I mean, with Shanae and Carly coming back, we're really excited. So, it means a lot. <laughs> Mm. What are your thoughts heading into Sunday evening? Uh, I don't know. I got mixed emotions right now, <laughs> you know. But uh, I feel like if we deserve to go, we'll go. If we don't deserve to go, we don't. You know, I, I can, I can take it either way, you know. And uh, you know, I want to go. Every game I've ever coached, the last game of the year, you know. I didn't. I didn't want it to be over with. I want us to continue to play and this team continue to grow and work together. And so I hope we make it. But I think we'll go if we deserve to. Anything yeah. else for the Texans? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.